Hello everyone and welcome to our last module. Wow, I know this course has been a lot of work, but I hope that you are as proud of yourselves as I am of you. The amount of work that you've done in the course development, along with helping each other, along with ideas and encouragement, is truly wonderful. So congratulations. This video will give you an overview of your EMI final portfolio. For your final portfolio, you will be taking some of the materials that you have created throughout this course, revising them as needed, and putting them into one document that can be posted and shared with other professionals. So what is going to be included in your final portfolio? Well, remember that you will hopefully share this portfolio with other instructors or your department, or you can present portions of it in a conference. Therefore, it is useful to put everything together in a way that is clear and organized. There are three main sections. First, you'll have a short introductory statement. Second, you'll have your EMI course materials, and this will be the longest part. And third, you'll include a brief summary of revisions that you have made to the portfolio contents. Let's look at each of those parts in a bit more detail. For your introductory statement, you will write two to three sentences welcoming readers to your portfolio. An example introductory statement is, welcome to my EMI final portfolio. This collection demonstrates my work over eight weeks to create materials that I can use in my EMI course, Introduction to Biology, in this portfolio, I will include the following, a syllabus for an EMI course, a lesson plan, an assignment and rubric, and a learning in an EMI course tip sheet for students. The second part of your portfolio is the bulk of it, your actual EMI course materials. These include at least the following. One, your EMI syllabus from group two, share module two. Two, your EMI lesson plan from Module 7, 3, your rubric assignment from Module 6, and finally 4, your learning in an EMI course tip sheets for your students, which you made in Modules 3 through 5. If you have other course materials or photos you want to include in your EMI final portfolio, you can include them as well, but that is optional. For example, Maybe you want to include a photograph of your students during a small group discussion. That would be great. Be sure to get any student's permission before you share their photograph. And please include a short description of any photographs or extra course materials that you include. Or maybe you want to include a sample outline of your main lecture notes for students. That would be great as well. This is your portfolio. So please include additional materials if you have them available. Just be sure to include the required materials for sure. The first step to assembling this part of your portfolio is to go back and review each of these materials so that you can decide what you would like to revise. In order to make revisions, you can look at feedback you received from your peers or from me as your instructor. You can also look back at content from the different modules. Another great way to get ideas is to share your content with other EMI professionals who are not in this course or with students in an EMI course and ask them for their feedback. Here is an example of changes you might make to contents of your portfolio based on feedback. Let's say that in this course, in the peer review, you received from your classmates about your lesson plan, they said that the lecture seemed to be too long and the interactivities seemed to be too short. Your classmates were concerned that students would become disengaged during the class time. There are several ways that you could decide to revise your lesson plan, but you decide that you will break up the lecture in, that you originally had, which was 30 minutes long, into two 10-minute lectures. You found some content that you think you can take out so that the lectures aren't so long, 
and you decided you will change the order of the class time so that it moves to this order, from warm-up to mini-lecture to a small group discussion to a mini-lecture to a concept map activity in small groups, and then regroup and summarize. You create a new lesson plan on the template provided in Module 7, and you put that lesson plan into your EMI final portfolio. I encourage you to make at least three revisions to your contents before you submit them in your final portfolio. The final part of your portfolio is a brief summary of the revisions to the portfolio contents. For this, you will write a summary of the changes that you made to your portfolio documents based on instructor or peer feedback for about one to 200 words. This can be in a paragraph form or a bulleted list. For the example I gave earlier, you revised your lesson plan to be more interactive. Therefore, in this section, you can write something such as the following. I revised my lesson plan by making it more interactive for the students. I shortened my one 30-minute lecture to two 10-minute lectures, and I added another interactive activity between those mini lectures. I added a discussion. That way, students can discuss the ideas before the next mini lecture, and they can do a concept map activity at the end of class so that I can see how well they understand the content. Then you would go on to explain the other revisions that you made. Please contact me if you have any questions with creating or submitting your final portfolio. I very much look forward to looking through all of your hard work.